suicide. Reynolds is trying everything. The kitchen sink is being thrown at it. They're leaning on each other. Coming into turn number three. It's going to be a drag race through three and four. Coming back to the line. Here comes first on the bottom. Bouchard's going to hold the inside. Tries to be the late breaker here. They're going to be side by side through the fire sheet. They bang doors but keep it clean. As that still four wide on the run down in the back straightaway. Demerit's looking for a line as well. What is going on in Michigan? No back into the fence. They're still beating banging. Oh my and to the line. He is much faster coming through there. Is there damage on Challenger? Apparatus is ahead. There's going to be a race to the line. Who is going to get it? All right, all right, all right. Welcome to Fast Trek Sim Racing Truck Series presented by iRacingiFlag.com. Check out their website and use Fast Track 15 at checkout to save 18% off of your order. We are at beautiful California Speedway, also known as Auto Club Speedway, for the Fast Track Truck Series tonight. It is 80 laps, fixed setups. Got three sets of tires in the pits. It should be a pretty good one. Daytona last week was a little on the iffy side there late in the race, but majority of the race was pretty badass, wild. A lot of good stuff. Uh, our good friend, uh, was it, oh my goodness, Bobby G won last week in a, in a thrilling finish, door banging each other and I believe it was Mr. Clifton they were door banging with and uh, turned out to be a hell of a finish. So, all right, tonight it's California. There are plenty of grooves at this racetrack. The upper groove, also known as the Larson line up by the wall. You got the low line, also known as the Harvick line down by the apron. It should be uh, a lot of side-by-side -side racing tonight. Last week was my maiden voyage with broadcasting. I'm a little more organized this time. I have my controls, TV controls, camera controls, car controls, replays, uh, leaderboards, all that stuff. I have it in nice spread out across four monitors so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Last week, I tried to squeeze them all on one monitor. Yikes. That was bad news. I was, it was too much clutter. So after tweaking some of the settings and actually doing some research, I was able to make sure all the controls stay on top of the iRacing screen on my side monitor so I can see what the hell I'm doing. It'd be a lot easier to uh, click on stuff and find accidents and find replays and uh, stuff like that. So, all right, we got 30 seconds to go before qualifying. Um, I'm going to leave the leaderboard up here. But first, last week, if you were watching us, <laughs> I played the national anthem from Whitney Houston. Well, Sony and their, their greedy money grubbers copyrighted my videos or 
they said it was copyrighted. I was stealing copyrighted stuff. So they shut the stream down. And I had to fight it. I fought it. I told them the American Anthem is owned by the American people, not Sony and Whitney Houston. And yesterday they says, yeah, you're right. So they released my video and they they unbanned it. So score one for the American people. But uh, all right, here we go. I'm happy. But this time I did change it. We're not playing Whitney Houston this time. I found a generic national anthem with uh, my brethren in the U.S. Navy. As a former veteran of the U.S. Navy, I'm liking this anthem. And I hope you guys enjoy it too. Here we go. There you have it, the good old U.S. of A. A nice, easy, simple anthem with the sound of instruments and some visual image of our U.S. Navy sailors. I love it. God bless the USA. All right, here we go. Uh, qualifying right now. Todd Shero just turned the fastest lap, as you can see. I'm trying to find my iRacing iFlag logo. There it is. All right. Now we look like we're semi-professional here with us, our sponsor's main logo. All right, let's see if I can't find some of these guys on the leaderboard here so you can watch some cars going around the racetrack. I have to change my camera angles. All right, looks like Brian Coughlin's going out there for his qualifying run. And I need to catch back up the live TV here. There we go. Brian Coughlin, admin here at Fast Track Sim Mason. He's the mastermind behind the alloy wheel repair specialists out of Richmond, Virginia. Without him, we wouldn't have the money for the Cup Series. All right, as I'm talking, fellas, in chat, ladies and gentlemen in chat, kids, and fish, and dogs, all that good stuff, let me know if the audio is okay. Um, last week, there were some people telling me the engine noises were too loud and they couldn't hear me speak. So I've lowered the engine sounds down and I kind of kept the mic the same, microphone at the same level. So let me know if I'm too loud, too soft. Let me know if the engines are too loud or too soft. We'll try to balance the audio out and get a nice good product for pe people out there in TV land. All right. Where is Conklin on the board? P11, two tenths off the pace. So far, uh, Kevin V. They told me what his name was last week. Kevin Varnor Varnadore. Varnador? I'm just going to call him Kevin V. Right now he's on the pole with a 40.9. And uh, Kyle Knapp Sr. is less than a tenth off the pole speed. So, I don't know if there's any more cars on the racetrack. Let's take a look. Nobody else? Anybody? Oh, 51's on the racetrack right now. Let's see if we can find him. Maybe not. 24's on the racetrack. Let's find him. And he's got done with his qualifying run. P8 on the board. 10th off the pole. Anybody else? The 59's on the racetrack. Pizza Brothers. I like it. Looks like he's P10 on the board. Wesley Gantz. Tyler Marble's on the racetrack right now. Let's see what he can do. Looks 
Look, he was P16 on his first lap. Let's see if he can pick it up on a second lap here. Tyler Marble, another admin slash owner of the Fast Track Sim Racing League. And let's see if he improves on his time. Oh, the pole for Tyler Marble. Beats out Kevin V. Oh my goodness gracious, a 40.8 compared to Kevin's 40.9. Talk about waiting until the last second to get that bad boy on the pole. Let's pull the kid up to the top channel here. And let's get in a quick interview with the little fella. Jeff Marble up here in the Fast Track TV booth. Tyler Marble on the pole. How the hell did you do it? Talk to me, brother. Floor. Pedal to the floor. That's it? You didn't even turn the steering wheel or anything? Oh, well, that too. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping for, I'm just so, I was just hoping it stuck too. And uh, it stuck. All right, well, congratulations on your pull. Don't miss the grid. And uh, hell of a job. Let's see how you guys how do, I'll add that. Yeah, have a good race. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh my God, I can't even talk. Look at that, Tyler Marble with the pole. We were watching him live. All right, let's go to the uh, starting grid here. The California Dream in 160. Tyler Marble on the pole. Kevin V P2. Kyle Knapp P3. Cody Grant P4. Jeremy Clifton, the guy that almost won last week at Daytona P5. Jacob Musa P6. Nick Hamlin P7. And Alan Hilton P8. Let's check out the next page here. Brandon Saylor, P9. Ryan Shiro, P10. Wesley Gann, 11th. Jerry Isaacs, 12th. Mark Zabak, 13th. Keaton, P. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to pronounce his last name. Uh, P14. Kyle Oakley, 15. Michael Thwaites, 16. Brian Conklin, 17. Brett Spot, 18. Ray Zurkut, 19. Todd Shiro, 20. Glenn Grisby, 21. Uh, Wayne Fleet 22, Corey Ennis 23, Cody Matthews 24. We got a full field here tonight. Ryan Haynes 25, James Campbell 26, Joseph Musau, one of the many, many Musaus in this race, P27, Brian Watson 28, Keith Kelman 29th, James Gilbert 30th, Andy Reeves 31, Jeff Taylor 32. Have a good race here. Uh, baseline rolls are Bobby G. Last week's Daytona winner. Bobby G. Start 33. Nicholas Sitchi 34. Michael Cleary 35. RJ Light 36. Christopher Calgo 37th. I hope he is okay after that that horrible flip at Daytona last week. Nathan Bryant 38. Cody James 39th. Cody also known as Dirty James because that boy can get it done on the dirt. Andy the Mongoose Tico P40. Mongoose because he likes to hang out in the weeds and strike when you're not looking. All right, here we go. Let's put on the old horizontal ticker. Get the text going. Large text. And we are going green here at beautiful California Speedway. Waiting for the pace car to pull off the racetrack. Let's check our uh, chat real quick. Talk to me, people. Pete. Polippi, Polippiuk. <laughs> Hate this track. I love this track. I love me some California. I'll keep the chat open in another window. Talk to me, people. Ready? I love talking to people. Keeps me occupied during the race. And we are green flag race racing here at the Fast Track Sims. Fast Track Truck Series provided by, presented by iRacingiFlake.com. I will get my tongue on straight here shortly and stop being so damn pump, pump tight. All right, Tyler Marble with an early lead here on lap one. Let's see if uh, he tries to maintain a steady pace and not use up his tires. We shall see. Let's go to a different TV angle here. A lot of two by two action throughout the field. Try to go to the most exciting uh, pack here. Try to give a much 
equal TV time as I can to all these uh, wonderful truck drivers that have graced our presence here on a Wednesday night in February. Ooh, we're going to be three wide here shortly. Look at that Jeff Gordon truck. I love it. Good stuff. Got a battle for the lead. Kevin B says, get the hell out of here with that leader stuff. I'm going to start leading this race there, Mr. Tyler Marble. Tyler Marble says, not so fast. I'm going to fight you up in the top lane. Run that Larson. Well, that's not even the Larson line. Ooh, Tyler Marble gets a little loose there in the middle of the corner. Ooh, and he's hanging on uh, Kevin B's right rear uh, fender. Oh, look at this. Three wide for the lead. Will the 51 of Jeremy Clifton be able to hold that low line? The Kevin Harvick line? And Kevin B thinks better of getting in there three wide. Backs out of it. Smart move. I like it. That's good race path right there. Too early to be going three wide right there. Lives to race another lap. Smart move, I like it. All right, Jeremy Clifton with the lead. Tyler Marble on his rear tailgate. I'm going to have to move some of my camera controls here because I'm having trouble seeing my left monitor. I want to see all the racing action and not my TV controls. Tyler Marble's like, all right, enough of this stuff. I'm going back to the lead, y'all. See if you can uh, hold that low line. And they are... A bunch of hungry coyotes there from P3 on back, waiting for these two to use up their stuff for this so they can strike and have a chance at the lead. Look at that, Baron. Full field, and there's a caution out. Let's see if we can find that accident. Oh my goodness gracious. That ain't good. Let's take a look at that here. I'll see what happened. No! Oh, no! No! That's unfortunate. Looks like through a little possible fighting for the same real estate type stuff going on. Stick. Ooh, this will be a better view down the straightaway. All right, slow this down a little bit. Yeah, there was some net code involved there. Not sure why he's moving down a little bit. I know these trucks can kind of be hard to handle down the straightaway. Sometimes they like to get all antsy. Well, yeah, that's just a, that's a tough deal right there. I don't think there's eh, there might be a little bit more damage to 24. Hopefully he can get that get that fixed. Um, that's unfortunate, but not too too bad. I don't think. Let's see if he added anything else. So, all right, let's go back to live TV. I got to figure out the live TV button somewhere around here. All right. Moving stuff around, bear with me, people. I'm new at this. All right, let's find the leader. It appears to be Jeremy Clifton. Let's see if I can listen to some audio here. What the hell? We'll look at that crash again. We'll try to kill some TV time here. Uh, hopefully them guys can... Uh, 
give their pit crews enough ice cream to get them fenders fixed and uh, hopefully they'll come out here and still be a little bit competitive. That right front, or the left front fender on that uh, Jeff Gordon truck, which is Mr. Sailors. Yeah, it's definitely some that code in that. I'm gonna take it outside on the restart. All right, let's go back to live right, TV. Leader take the top. Uh, second row, get the black flag. Let me know. I'll clear it. All right, pace. Well, the lights are off on the pace car. Be going green here next time by. The uh, leader of Jeremy Clifton has chosen the outside row for this restart. All the drivers on the front row must maintain a nice steady pace car speed as to not get an advantage on the restart. So we don't have the high racing uh, restart zones enabled because they are still broken. So we, we, we are running off last year's rules where everybody goes on the green flag and we have a no lane changing rule in this league. So there's no kind of shenanigans before the start finish line. Just like real NASCAR. Got me in your mirror wing. I can only see the chat on my team Marvel page, so if you're watching at Fast Track Sim Racing's Facebook page, I cannot see the chat over there. Uh, if you want to chat with me, head over to Team Marvel iRacing and uh, start chatting up there. I like to talk to the viewers, keep myself occupied. All right, pace car is getting ready to pull off the racing surface. They'll be going on the green flag. Green flag. And we are racing here at California Speedway Auto Club. Nice clean restart there. I like it. Let's see what they do going on here in a turn one. Oh, thinking about making a three wide there, Mr. Kyle. Kyle Knapp Sr. That outside groove didn't work too well. Uh, worked too well for Mr. Jeremy Clifton there. Thought for sure he would have been able to keep up more, more momentum going through turns one and two there. But uh, Tyler Marble's like, I'm going to drop the hammer down to the low lane and try to get a lead on you guys. Just going to focus on Elias for a little bit longer here. Then we'll try to focus on some of the battles throughout the field. They're wrecking on the. They're wrecking in one. Wrecking in one. Oh no! I believe that was Mr. Hamlin. Oh no! They're all piling in. Oh, that sucks. Let's see what happened here. Looks like they're three wide behind him. See what happens here. Make it radio check, please. Oh, Hamlin in the 22 thought yeah. he was clear. Unfortunately, he was not Thank clear. You. Oh, I don't know how many trucks are involved in this. We shall take a look here. So far, three. Don't know if Todd Sherrill in the 20 uh, All Star truck, All Star giveaway truck. Looks like he saves it. Still three, and unfortunately, that's 23 Pace of Ray's, back. Razor Cut. Unfortunately, piles in there. Looks like he disconnects from the race. Oh, no, he's back on there. And unfortunately, 04 Brian Watson has nowhere to go and piles into. Uh, so it looks like all in all, five race trucks. Oh, that's kind of a bad deal there. Looks like the 22 Hamlin thought he was clear, but uh, Ford just had a fender out there on his right rear quarter. That's kind of a raw deal. Yeah, that sucks. 
Oh well. I'll have to rack them up and have another restart. Hate it for Brian Watson. That's two weeks in a row he's gotten caught some uh, some bad juju. But uh, it's a long season. He'll be okay. He'll, he's a very good racer. He'll probably win a couple this year. So, dang it! All right, let's go back to the leader, which I believe is Tyler Marble. I'm going to start talking to these drivers and try to get their act together. All right, drivers, uh, let's have a little more situational awareness here. It don't look too bad. It's definitely got some damage to it for sure. All right, drivers, let's have a little more situational awareness, situational, situational awareness here, guys. It's lap 12 of 80. Uh, pay attention to your spotters. Pay attention to uh, how many wide you are. Let's get some green flag re uh, laps in here. We're, uh, we're all a bunch of really good drivers here. Let's just be smart. It's a long race. And uh, basically, in a nutshell, I don't want to be here all night, fellas. So let's, let's, uh, let's get our act together. I am super tongue-tied for some reason. Got my brain's going a, mile, a million miles an hour, and I can't even talk straight. My my tongue's getting all screwed up. I'll be all right. I just need to relax a little bit. These cautions are getting on my nerves, but I'll be okay. Not only am I the broadcaster, I'm the league owner. I don't want to see this kind of stuff. We had 14. No. 12 caution free races last year. 12. I mean, we had 17 different winners. Garrett, thank you. Thank you for the 200 stars. I don't have the alerts turned on for broadcast purposes. And, uh, thank you. Appreciate it. All right. I'm fixing to go green. The lights are off on the pace car. We are on live. I'm making sure we're on live. I was going to remember to do that. All right. Tyler Marbles choosing the low lane. In the fast track sim race in iRacing and I flag Chevrolet. Kyle Knapp Sr. starting P2. Jeremy Clifton P3. Kevin B, P4. Ryan Sherrill P5. You guys can uh, get their act together here. So through this race. Let's get back on the TV on here. Green flag. And we are green again here at California Speedway. Restart number three of this race. Nice clean restart, two by two all the way through the field. If I had some lane changing in the rear, I'm going to have to review that. Make a mental note, lap 14. I don't know why there's a truck off the pace. Not sure who that is. We'll have to check that later. What's up, Baron Labasco? How you doing up there in the Fast Track TV booth? I was just uh, seeing what all the hubbub's about. <laughs> yeah, trying to get, get these guys squared away with their uh, shenanigans here on the racetrack. It looks good from where I'm at. I'm watching it on my little TV screen in the hotel room, and it is beautiful stuff right here. Racing in California. Awesome. I love it. I gotta make a mental note that I need to check a restart on lap 14. I see some guys coming out of line back there before the start finish line. It's the one thing I can't do here while I'm trying to broadcast. Actually, I think I can. 
You know what? I'm going to go check that out real quick since they're spread out a little bit. Now, wait a minute. I'm going to focus on these leaders first because 51 Jeremy Clifton is uh, getting a little frisky down there in the low lane. Almost had a little calamity there. Baron, I'm going to change this to uh, voice activated so I don't have to keep pushing the button so you can hear what I'm talking about. Yeah, cool. I just uh, stepped in to say hi and see how things are going. Man, great racing. Mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check. All right, seems to be working. Hopefully it's not cutting out the first couple s syllables of my uh, talking here. I'm not, I usually don't use voice activated. I always use push to talk, but we'll give it a shot here. Bar Baron, am I breaking up at all there, Baron? Clean and green here, Jeff. Uh, beautiful sounds that you should sing with such a beautiful voice. Uh, I got a voice in a of an angel, man. I would bring women to their knees. Just weeping with anticipation, I know. <laughs> Woo, they're getting crazy up there for the lead. I don't know if the car, uh, the truck audio engines are too loud over my voice. I don't know if you guys can hear me talking over the trucks. I'll do the best I can. The broadcast is perfect. Everything sounds wonderful. All right, turn down the engine sound just a little bit more. I should probably just turn down my, my headset so I'm not screaming over the engines. Anyways, Kyle Knapp out to a two-tenth lead over P2, P3. What the hell happened to Tyler Marble? Did he use up his tires already? Or is he just chilling, hoping these guys are going to use up their shit? All right. I'm going to check out that replay real quick. Or the restart, I mean. You know what? Screw it. I'll just give up penalties at the end of the race. I ain't got time for that. I want to watch the battles here. Nice full field, Jeff. Huge field. Thank you, Baron. There was uh, there was guys wanting to get in after we launched the uh, qualifying, and I'm like, well, you guys are too late. Sorry about that. So I have to come out next week and try their luck at uh, ooh, get it, luck, Vegas. That was unintentional. Oh, and it just, cliche Wednesday, I love yeah, it. Yeah, just kind of happened. Oh, Michael. A thing right there. <laughs> Michael Thwaites looking low on Tyler Marble. Thinks better of it going into turn one. Looks like people are starting to test that high lane. The old Kyle Larson line. I'm going to... See what kind of other. I'm going to click on the most exciting eye racing battle and see what we got. Oh, and it brings us right back up to the leaders. Oh, there we go. We got battles all over the place. This is battle for P16. Let's go to a different camera angle here. I love this track. Yeah, I love it too. It's sad it's going to be going away here in real life. I know. But the I'm good so thing, yeah, the good thing is, though, this is virtual racing. It'll be here forever and ever and ever. Oh, that's good. So if they screw, so if real NASCAR and SMI or whoever owns it, International Speedway Corporation, whatever, I don't know what they're called nowadays. Anyways, if they screw up that short track, hell, we'll just race the big track here on iRacing. Be perfect. Um, I, I think, though, in real life, they're tearing part of this down now, aren't they? Yeah, they're going to make a short track out of it. They're going to keep the front straightaway stance and just make a track similar. I think it's the same size as Martinsville or maybe Bristol without all the banking, though. No. A little less banking. Oh, we get a little frisky back here for P17. Ooh, that guy's having a little trouble keeping their truck straight. Uh, Alan Hilton in chat said he's sad, so I'm wondering he must have been in that wreck. 
Still learning names. I have the numbers here. On my uh, control. Oh my goodness gracious, it's 06. Yanking on that wheel, trying to get underneath the seven of Mr. Corey Ennis. Let's get back to the leaders real quick, make sure they're not beating up on each other. Nope, they're not. They're Who is a 06? Wayne Leeks. Uh oh, overheating issue. You must be, uh, have a little fun on damage. Yeah, they keep telling me, but I, my lights ain't blinking yet. Oh! Do we have a problem here? A lot of trucks overheating. That's interesting. Setup issue for sure with the draft. Uh, they're, they're nose to tail through most of the field and they're probably getting some overheating issues. Yeah, it's uh... I'm half throttle in the draft and I'm still flat. I'm still yellow and with red on oil. I, I'm listening to the chat. The in-sim chat between the drivers and a lot of guys are dealing with overheating issues. Uh, this is the iRacing default set, so I don't know what the hell the problem is. Interesting. Oh really? They're not they're not making their own. No, these are fixed iRacing sets, so Okay. Um Tyler always checks the setups before every single race, make sure everything they're drivable and raceable. But when you're out there by yourself, you can't really judge you know, the amount of air coming through the nose, there's no other trucks on the racetrack, so I guess we're getting a crash course here with all these trucks on the racetrack. And uh, the amount of air coming through the noses, or lack of air, is, it's, it seems like. Christopher, yeah, no doubt. Christopher Cowgill just said he's running half throttle, and his temperatures on his gauge are still yellow. Yellow's okay, it's the red is when you guys start getting a little nervous. Now that won't last the whole race though, will it? Well, I don't know, man. If uh, I'd like to think once the tires wear out and they turn a little less RPMs, uh, I'd like to think the temperatures may come down. Yeah, good point. Yeah, they'll, they'll back down some of those times and uh, the engines will cool off. They'll start looking for other lines too. Yeah, that, you make a great point. If, they're, if they don't want to be tucked in behind somebody, just go find another line to run and just save your truck to make it, just to make sure you can make it all the way to the end. So not only they gotta manage tires, they also gotta manage their engines. And uh, in theory, that's gonna make the great thing a lot closer too, because everybody's just chilling. And uh, looks like Tyler Marble's going up top either to tighten up his race truck or try to get some air on that nose. This is a developing story you'll have to keep our eyes on here, uh, throughout the race here. Oh my goodness gracious, Tico getting loose there in P21. Oh my goodness, that was, it made me perk up. Man, there's, this track is so bumpy. You can see these trucks just bobbing and weaving and like they're Muhammad Ali, you know, just going left and right, dodging punches. Crazy. It's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, it is. And, and the two corners are so different from each other. Like, I just love that you can war hoop it into three and four, and you really got to be careful out of one and two. It's just a, it's a great track. I, I wish it was going to stay. Well, war hoop is a technical term, too. <laughs> well, maybe they'll, uh, maybe in real life, the, the, the Cup Series will put on a, a hell of a show, and maybe the drivers will be like hey don't tear this place down yet kind of like they did with Atlanta don't repave Atlanta don't repave Atlanta keep it the way it is you know we love it so maybe they'll say hey we love California with these cars the old cars not so much but these these new cars race really well and maybe they'll say all right we'll listen to you because they'll they're gonna want to save one. Oh my goodness there's a car on the wall car number 10 of Cody Matthews gets a little California stripe on the side of that truck lives to uh, race another lap. He's got a beaver on his truck. That beaver is a little chopping at the bit there. Beaver on the truck, beaver in the truck. It's all good. <laughs> Better than a cougar. Yeah. Unless you're single. <laughs> True that. All right. Ooh. Jeremy Clifton uh, took the lead. 
we missed it. Maybe we can rewind it here for a second. 51. Previous lap. Previous lap. Remind me to put this back on live TV. Chan for. Oh hell, he passed him a long time ago. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, Jeremy Clifton, still your leader. I'm back on live TV. That's what I always forget to do, Baron. Is like when I'm checking replays and stuff, or if I'm just watching a race on my own, ghosting. I'll be like, they're talking about wrecking this, that, and the other. I'm like, who the hell wrecked? I'm like, oh, I forgot to put it back on live TV. So, yeah, I always forget to do that. All right, they're coming up on a damaged lap truck of one of the Musa clan. He was involved in that earlier incident. Nothing worse than having to drive around for, what, 70 laps with a damaged race truck? It's just a really long night at that point. <laughs> yeah, you're just like watching YouTube videos on your other monitor while you're just going around and around and around. See, that's a true racer right there because he knows how valuable points are in this long season. That's That whole Mamusa crew is definitely looking to make the playoffs and they understand how important each and every single point is. So he's just out there riding, hoping for some more attrition. It looks I saw like somebody smashed that like button too. I hey, love it. I like it. I like it a lot. It's like my my friend uh, Boyd Christmas on Dumb and Dumber would say, "I like it. I like it a lot." So thank you for hitting that. Uh, like I said, I can't see all the chat. I can only see the chat on Team Marble I Racing Facebook page. It's being broadcast in two places: Team Marble I Racing and Fast Track Sim Racing, both on Facebook. I have cross posted between each other. Unfortunately, I only can see one chat. So if you want to hit me up and tell me I'm doing a sucky job, doing a good job, you got to head over to Team Marble iRacing Facebook page. We are live there. You can chat me up. Oh, my goodness. Tyler Marble. Woo. Get a little frisky there. But the, uh, it wasn't blocking. He was just trying to get his groove entry. Baron, would you like me to share my screen at Discord so you can see what I'm talking about at the same time I'm talking about it? Right, I'm behind you on YouTube. <laughs> All right. Let me share my screen on Discord. Hopefully it doesn't hog up too many resources. If it does, the hell with it. I'm just sitting here enjoying. If my screen starts to stutter, let me know. But usually yep. Discord is pretty good about... Uh, I won't share the audio. I'll just share the screen. Bear with me, people. I'm on my desk. Screen, screen one, go live, double click my name, Baron, and you can see what I'm watching. Oh, I got it now, yeah. Ooh, this is beautiful. So, like, when I, like, start streaming at something, and you'd be like, Marble, I don't see what you're talking about. Now you just look at the Discord screen and be like, oh, yeah. No, I... All right. It's so party. Jeremy is still leading this little shindig. P Mara, P2 is Tyler Marble. He's not too far behind. Kyle Knapp is falling down the. Where the hell is he? I'm... He hit it. He is gray on my screen. Let's take a look at Mr. Kyle Knapp a little. His strategy here on lap 35. Tyler was telling me before the race, I asked him how much they get on tank of fuel, and he says around 30 cents. But we haven't ran that many laps under green. Maybe 25 laps under green. So I'm wondering if he sh He's still got to pit one more time after this. These guys need to make it to lap 40. No, they can't even make it to lap 40 because they still won't make it to the end. Unless you're doing a crap ton of fuel saving. Which some of these guys might be doing because of the, the temperature problems. So yeah. Might, might be one way. sure. Yeah, because if they're saving uh, temp, they're also saving fuel. Yeah. So Kyle's, uh, I like it. And Jeremy Clifton just came down pit road. So it was a monkey see, monkey do. And things are fixing to get interesting here with pit strategy. I wonder if that's going to pull Tyler Marble down pit road. Let's take a look. Michael Thwaites, that might pull him down pit road too. Well, this looks like they're staying out for another lap. Wait, Michael Thwaites is coming down. Where is number 99 on my board? There he is. 
Uh, Tyler Marble might want to pit here soon. You can't stay out too much longer on them older tires. Unless he's going to split it in half, right? It's Yeah, maybe that's why he backed out earlier. Um, he gave up the lead and just kind of was following suit there. He splits it in half and wins this race. He gets the crew chief of the year award. Hell, I'll give my, half my paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> now he can go buy a cup of coffee, right? <laughs> oh, I think... Oh, 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 here he comes. Leader Tyler Marble down pit road. He's like, all right, I'm not getting snookered out here on the racetrack. I got to go. I, I, there's no way. But I'm just losing too much time. So smart move. I like it. Uh, he's kind of banking on another yellow. If there's no other yellow, then this is definitely a pitch strategy, fuel strategy race. And uh, it's going to be interesting the next time they decide to come down pit road. All right, who's the leader now? That would be number 91 of Cody Graham. Let's see what he's going to do. I wonder how long he's going to stay out. We still got eight trucks, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 trucks. Still on their original set of tires and fuel. A couple other guys came in, must have topped it off earlier in the race. So, all right, leader Cody Graham, P2 Wesley Gantz on pit road, making their pit stops. I am almost positive that everybody's going to take four tires and full fuel. That would put Mr. Brian Conklin in the lead. Actually, Mark Zabak in the lead. The question is, do they come down and... Do they stay out for one more lap to get a point for leading a lap, or are they going to stay on their strategy? Boy, if you can stretch it, why wouldn't you, right? 18 pitting, 18 pitting. All right, P8 is pitting, pitting. and P12 is pitting. Mark Zabak and Brian Cockless stay out again. Oh, boy, Ryan Shiro stays out. Cody James stays out. How many Cody's in the race? There's so there's so damn. I don't have any. I don't have enough fingers and toes to count all the Cody's. Must have been a popular name about 20, 30 years ago. <laughs> all right, we got comers and goers. We got lap trucks. We got women and children crying. Not sure what's going to happen here. It looks like Mark is going to come down pit row. Let's get it on the number 11. Mark Zabak. No, he stays out. Oh, they got to be splitting this thing in half. Then. Oh, they my be. goodness gracious. Hey. They, they don't have to make up a lap then. You're damned if you do. You're damned if you don't. The question is, I don't know how fast your lap times are, are compared to the leaders. Well, I mean, compared to the guys that pitted already. Let's see, let's see. Going down the back straightaway. You know what's going to ruin this whole entire damn thing? What would ruin this whole thing right now, man? One yellow flag. <laughs> yes. Somebody stepping on the old PP and screwing up. And that will make about half the field happy and half the field mad. Mark and Brian are going to try and split this bad boy in half. Here comes Cody. Here comes Ryan Haynes. Cody James got one of them early pit stalls. Got some left side damage. Doesn't appear to be hurting his truck too much. Interesting. So some of these guys are going to split it in half. The other ones are out on their own. That now, so the guys who just pitted, they're begging for that caution. 2-0. 2, -0, Two Ryan Shiro stays out to lead a lap. Trying to get that bonus point for playoffs. I know it's early, but you can never, ever stop thinking about the playoffs. Every point counts. Ryan Shiro brought attention today to me about his sponsor is uh, All Star All Star Giveaways. It's a Facebook page that gives away diecast to one lucky customer. It's uh. The Facebook waffles. You can't call them the R word because it's banned. So you call them a waffle. Three they give a, they, Three yeah, instead of a raffle, they give, they call it a waffle, <laughs> just to keep away from the Facebook police, you know. So, yeah, they uh, they put a little money in the pot. They spin the wheel, and one lucky guy gets a diecast. What they did last week, which I kind of didn't know about, was they had a drawing at that site. They said, okay. Pick a number, 1 through 43. 
and they were trying to determine where Ryan, Ryan was going to finish in our Daytona 250 race in the Cup Series. Well, uh, I forget the winner's name, but he picked P20. Well, that's where Ryan finished, P20. So the guy won a, a die-cast uh, kit with a bunch of die-casting nice. cards. So nice. it's a pretty good uh, marketing tool they got there. Here's the funny thing. He started 20th. He finished 20th. The race was on the 20th. And there was a there was a, there was a fourth one that had something to do with the 20s. He's 20 years old. Yeah, so it was like uh, that's why the guy said he chose 20 because just all the numbers aligned, and he's like, "Holy shit, he won!" That's the first time that guy ever won on, a, on that website, on that on that Facebook page too. So the power of fast track sim racing with die cast in somebody's hands. I just seen smoke coming off the wall. Like Let's take a look at that. I think the eight hit the wall here. Let's take a look. It's kind of. Gave it the old Darlington, California stripe. That's going to make the crew very unhappy as they have to put new vinyl on the side of that race truck. I wonder how he got up there. He was by himself. Yeah, it looks like he uh, just ran out of racing real estate. No, I, no, no texting and driving, Jeff. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, he's only got eight lap on them tires, so I don't know why. why. Just maybe just uh, trying to get all I can get here. Covering the spread? I guess so. You know what? Andy Tico is still on the race track. He must have topped it off because he's only showing 39 laps in his current run. He must have topped it off in one of them earlier yellows. And that may play into his favor because he'll have enough after the pit stop. Definitely make it to the end. Thing is, so he's given up so much time on these freshies, or on these old tires, compared to the guys with fresh tires. Looks like uh, Nathan Bryant's fixing up lap himself. Or trying to. Is he coming down this time? I think he's coming down this time. Yes, he is. No, he, yes, he is. Andy Tico in the Captain Crunch machine comes down pit road. 40 laps into his current run, and that leaves Bobby G, last week's Daytona winner, as your current leader here in California. Oh my goodness, he's in a gaggle. These guys want their laps back. They, they don't want to be the lucky dog. They want to get back on the lead lap right now. Oh my goodness gracious, that was close. Yeah, hang on to him, buddy. Yeah. 77 almost had a little Hail Mary sandwich. Hallmar? Hallmar. A little tongue tied. Oh my goodness. I wonder what Bobby G is going to pit. They're not cutting him a lot of slack there, are they? No, because they want to get back on that lead lap, man. They're like, I, we can't afford to be the lucky dog and wave arounds and all that good stuff. So good on them to be aggressive there. And there's one more car after that that has not pitted. That's P2 of Michael Cleary. And he is five seconds behind Mr. Bobby G here. Bobby G, I predict, will come down in about three more laps. So we'll get a little more TV time before we get back to Jeremy Clifton, the leader. Then we'll focus on some of the battles throughout the field. I'll click the old exciting button. I racing will find all the so-called, quote-unquote, exciting battles on the racetrack. We'll wait for him to pit, though, before we do that. It's like the damaged truck of Mr. Sailors. He's trying to get back on the lead lap or at least get one of his last back. I'll we'll have the full leaderboard or handy right this second. Field's nice and spread out now, so. Yeah, so with this track being so wide, I, I'm knocking on my head, which I'm pretending is a piece of wood. Uh, knocking on wood that there won't be any more yellows, so let's let this thing string out. That'd be pretty cool. All right, Brandon Sailor. Just unlapped himself, but now he is. Doesn't tell me how many laps he's down. It looks like he's back on the lead lap. All right, the leader, Bobby G, coming down pit road. Make his scheduled pit stop. He will also be able to make it to the end, and it looks like 55 is coming down pit road, too. So that leaves... That's everybody. Everybody has made it through the cycle. Everybody's happy because a yellow did not come out. 
to kill that cycle. All right, let's get back to the uh, Tyler Marble. Reez oh my, look at this battle for the lead. Anders coming up on a lap truck of the 06. Ooh, look at this. Oh, whoa. What the? Hey, easy, buddy. Yikes. Come on, man. Come on, yeah. Hopefully the 06 truck, I believe that's Wayne, rolls out of the gas a little bit to give these guys a little bit of room so they can battle it out. I think Wayne might be using a like maybe eight to one ratio or something, make that truck really twitchy. Or a joystick. Yeah, no, yeah, he's definitely not. A, I don't think he's on joystick. <laughs> I hope not, but yeah. I believe he's coming from uh, an NR 2003 lead. There's a bunch of them in here that have migrated over to iRacing finally, and might not be used to these these steering boxes and these trucks quite yet. I know on these bigger racetracks, I like to have a steering ratio that's not as touchy. So holds a nice straight line down the straightaway. Sure. So he's still maybe finding his way with the steering boxes. Because that, that thing should not be that out of control on the straightaway. He's waving at him like a back end of a fish. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a fish out of water. All right, looks like... All right, Tyler's got 15 laps in his current stint. Kyle has 18. So Tyler, I have a feeling, is just kind of saving tires here. He's got the fresher tires out of these guys. So he's just kind of kind of chill, let Kyle have his spot there, P2. And they might be still watching temperatures. So we'll see how that battle turns out in about a couple more laps. I'm going to see who's kind of other exciting stuff we got going on here. Uh oh, we got a battle. This is the battle. This is the battle for P20th. P20. It's going to be three wide here shortly, I believe. A little two by little two by two action. All right, the zero six pit, I believe. That'll be his second pit stop. Don't have the total number of laps laps on that current stint. He might be on the original set of tires. Maybe that's why he was a little squirrely there on straightaways. Can't get my full relative up to see how many laps he had on that stint, but we'll just focus back on the leaders here. find another exciting battle. Oh, the 71's in the wall. Just scraped it. Danny Knowles Jr. Just a little bit of scrape there. Lives to race another lap. So, so Baron, what part of the country are you in today? I am in the great uh, city of Danville, Illinois right now. Um, waiting out the weather and uh, ready to go back home to Indianapolis on Friday, so, yeah, out here where uh, tornadoes live. <laughs> so, are you getting a nice storm like we're getting here in Buffalo, New York? Right now, it's just rain and a lot of wind and tornado warnings, but uh, about 50 miles north of me here, all ice. All ice, huh? yeah, we're going to get about a half an inch of ice tonight. Awesome. On top of... A couple inches of snow. It snowed first, and then the ice storm came, so that's going to help out a lot. Instead of the other way around, if it was the other way around, that, that would be bad news. But at least you're not stuck at work. Yeah, let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still a little bitter. Yeah. We, we were making jokes at work today that uh, at least all of us brought our blankets and pillows this time, so in case we get stuck again, we have something to sleep with. Yeah, yeah the, that was crazy. Management didn't take too kind to our comments, but I don't give a crap. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a troublemaker, so I've been there for 30 years. I almost 30 years. I can kind of say do what I want without being in too much trouble. 
That was nuts. Those videos were crazy. Oh, my live videos outside the post office. Oh, it was amazing. Yeah, it was. We, uh, the second night, or the second morning, the first night we seen a bunch of four ways on, on cars out on the road with their four ways on. So we're like, well, there must be people in there. You know, then the next morning we're like, well, the four ways are dead. We don't see them flashed anymore. Maybe they're just saving fuel or whatever. The bodies aren't dead either, you know? <laughs> yeah, so like, let's go out there and see if they need water and food because we had a store next, a store that was next door to us and they gave us a bunch of food and water for free. We just went ahead to go dig our way into the store, not out of the store, into the store. They gave us a bunch of food, water, and drinks. So we decided to go out there and see if they needed anything. Well, we get out there and nobody was in those cars. All the, the, uh, paramedics or the firemen or whatever gathered up the people and brought up to warming stations so there was nobody in those cars there was a guy in the tractor trailer but he had he had heat and food and all that good stuff so he had a bed in the back of the tractor trailer so he had his generator going he so he was gonna wait it out huh? yeah he was just waiting it out he was there in that one spot for four days three days before they could unbury his uh, big rig off the road there how about that yeah so we did our deeds. We were just making sure people weren't in those cars. There was, we just kept walking down the road and we just kept seeing, once the wind died down for a second, we could actually see down the road. We're like, well, there's more down there. There's more down there. And we're like, they, there's nobody in those cars because they've been there for days. So somebody's fire people or uh, firemen. But yeah, unfortunately, I'm sorry, go ahead. That was so lucky though. I mean, yeah. People didn't get stranded. Unfortunately, there was about 45 deaths throughout the city. That's just the sad part about it. But oh, yeah. yeah, a lot of people with frostbite. Um, yeah, bad deal, bad deal. But what are you gonna do? It's mother nature, you can't, she's undefeated. Right. All right, back to racing here. Looks like things have kind of just settled out in the front of the pack. Let's check out some exciting battles throughout the field here. All right, I clicked exciting. Take me to the exciting stuff. Well, I guess this is the most exciting stuff. <laughs> the lead. Yeah. Now uh, let's just go through the field here. I'm going to click on 18. James Campbell's in P18 right now currently. Somebody is texting me. Keaton's texting me. I can't read that point in a second. Let's see where old B BC Brian Coughlin is in P10 right now. Battling Ryan Haynes. And he's one of the first oh. ones to actually split this race in half, right? Who? Which one? Uh, BC. No, BC went late. He was one of the later ones. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, with um, Ryan Shiro and... Crap. I forget the... Oh, the 11 of Mark Sabak. Yeah, they stretched it out until that 40, 41. So they're done pit. Hopefully. It, it, they hope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, it's going to be interesting to see if they can stretch it out that far. I'm, I'm really intrigued. We're on lap 62 right now, so I, I, I like to thank these guys for heeding my warning and getting their act together. I'd like to thank them for that. So get some nice, interesting racing in here. All right, the 55 truck, is that a lap right? Yes, at the lap truck, They're behind Tyler. Okay, I was like, man, Tyler's fixing to lose another spot. Uh, Brett Spot in the 35s here, got some uh, right side damage from an earlier accident. Doesn't seem to be off the pace too much. He's currently in. I need to pull up the full leader more here. All right, there we go. He's at P23. Second. All right, got the leader more fixed. I can see the whole field now. All right, who else can we look at? Bobby G, last week's winner, currently in P21. 13 laps into his stint. He got his TV time in. Yes, he did. 
trying to change a little bit of camera angles here, make it a little more interesting. Paul Ragney, don't see him. Oh, I love that view where they're all fanned out like that coming through the turn. I could do that. Oh. And the in car, show how bumpy the track is. Get on him in here. Cockpit, bam. Ooh, pit stops. Who's this? Stop going through all the trucks. This is Christopher from Wiser keeps going through all. Stop. I picked one truck. Stop it. Stupid camera controls. Oh, it was still on most exciting. That's why I was picking the most exciting battles. All right. We are currently in Brian Cochran's truck. He's in P6 right now. Lost P5 to uh, Ryan Haynes. And you can get an idea how bumpy it is. Right? Look at that. Look at that. Just trucks are just bouncing around like basketballs on the basketball court. That's awesome. If you have fillings in your teeth, it'll knock them out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a great track. <laughs> Speaking of that. super slick up there, too. Oh, yeah. It's 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 fun, though. Isn't it? It's super fun yeah. up there. <laughs> it's a controlled four-wheel slide to the wall. You just hope it stops. <laughs> yeah, you can... Uh, Get your elbows up, and if there's any family members nearby, you might elbow them in the face because you're trying to work that wheel so hard, you know? Yeah, and it, it's just so loose. So much fun. And speaking of knocking fillings out, did you see when uh, Ricky Stenhouse there won the race? He's getting ready to do an interview. Where the hell? There we go. Um, he actually took a mouth guard out of his mouth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, I mean, the, 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 the chassis are so rigid in those cup cars that they actually have, they need mouthpieces to prevent their, their teeth from falling out. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, it's, uh, um, and concussion uh, uh, prevention. I was literally just about to say that, and probably to help with concussions, too. Because they still haven't figured out the rear end of that car yet. I guess some guys were complaining. They can still feel that hits in the rear of the car. Oh, Tyler Marble just turned the fastest lap of the race. Allegedly, he they have figured out the rear end of that car. Allegedly. Allegedly. You know what? We missed Tyler's pit stop. And Kyle Knapp and Jeremy Clifton. They all pitted on the same lap. And Tyler Marble just turned the fastest lap of the race with a 41 flat. And he is currently ahead of Kyle and Jeremy after the pit stops by, holy shit, that must have been one hell of a pit stop. He's two seconds, three seconds ahead. You know what? Let's take a look to see what he did for tires and stuff. Yeah. Either that, either that or everybody else took tires when they shouldn't have. Look at him. All three of them are together. Let's see what these fellas do. Right sides, right sides, right sides for all three. Let's put this on the old uh, a little thicker. Lefts, lefts, lefts. They all took four tires. Now, they all come out together. I got a feeling since Tyler just turned that fastest lap of the race, he is just absolutely hot shit. Hot lapping the shit out of that, that truck. And ooh, he's got a really good exit, though. Really good yeah, exit on, off, yeah. on the apron. Yeah, that's regained that lead. And that does was he a go no shit exit right there. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, Boys, peace out. You, uh, you, you remember that, was, that elbow sump I was just talking about? Yeah, that oh, was yeah, him that was coming. All about him there, yeah. <laughs> 50 watt, the 55 bounced it off the wall there. All right, so not only did he have a great exit, he is absolutely wheeling the shit out of that truck. So I bet he, you... He's saving nothing now. <laughs> yeah, he ain't saving shit. There's there's 11 laps to go. We shall see if he uses up his stuff. Ooh, I don't he's want... letting her eat for sure now. Give me one second here. I'm trying to get back to live TV. Isn't that a pretty logo? I love it. All right. Beautiful. <laughs> Come on. Get back to live TV. There we go. All right, let's get back to the leader because 
18 is pitting right now. Let's get back to the leaders because we are closing in on the end of this race. This race went pretty freaking quick after them two yellows. Baron has made this race really fast talking to somebody. He's, that he's the voice in my head. <laughs> it's not quite as pretty as yours. <laughs> I mean, we've discussed how you should sing, and this this is not my ability. But Jeff, this is great. I love big track racing. This is fun. Hell yeah, I love it too. You know what? Wait a minute. All right, Tyler pitted. He's the first one to pit, along with Kyle and Jeremy. However, he's only in P13. So P1, all right, I'm listening to these guys pit now. P4 of Kevin V just pitted. Is Wesley was one of the last ones to pit. I think the rest of them are on one-stop strategy, Jeff, and that's why I think, you know, like if he can make up the time, great, but he's gonna make up. Uh, 20 see. seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> the fastest track up there. With nine laps to go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to take a We're going to focus in on the leaders here because they deserve their due diligence here. They yeah, deserve their due. The yeah. yeah. Wesley Gantz is your current leader. Yeah. Pitch strategy. Yep. Yeah, he's an interesting pitch. He has five seconds on the P2 of Mark Sabak. Mark was one of the late pitters along with Brian Cochlin. So, Tyler, Kyle, and Jeremy may have chosen the wrong strategy. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Is I think the guys who broke this thing into one pit stop, yeah, they were the ones with the Crew Chiefs awards there. Well, whew, there's going to be three drivers that are not happy, and there's going to be about five that are pretty fucking happy there at the end. We'll see how this rolls out. Yeah, and you live with one of the unhappy ones. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait for that. Um, <laughs> it's never dull. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. you know how my room can get sometimes. You've been in the voice room with us sometimes. <laughs> it's hysterical. Man. It gets a little, it gets a little animated. A lot of animated. Um, <laughs> bombs. A lot of bombs. <laughs> That's why we can't race in the same room anymore, but we'll leave that for another story for another time. Um, <laughs> Dude, this is, I'm, wow. Oh, seven pitting, oh, seven well, pitting. there's another one pitting. He's 34 laps on his tires. I'm, wow, I'm really interested to see if he can make it to the end here. This is what's great about fast track sim racing. Uh, we have, uh, last year, 17 different winners. And already we're gonna have Theory could have winner number two right here. This looks like Bobby G is struggling a little bit tonight. But yeah, this is good. I mean, this is interesting. I'm not sure what's going to happen. could win it tonight. Yeah. And he's extended his lead over P2. He's, he's, he has a six second lead now. Yeah, so he's uh, he's got to figure it out if he's got gas. I don't hear him clutching either. Let's quickly go into his cockpit. Oh, he's even got a bunch of right side damage, too. Yeah, look at that right front's all crinkled up. Let's see if he's clutching at all. We're shutting the engine off. Nope, he's letting it roll. Not shutting off anything, not clutching or nothing. All right. Oh, wait. Here he comes to pit row. The leader, Wesley Gantz, gives uh -oh. up the lead with five laps to go. Oh, no. You hate to see it. He was hoping on a yellow, hoping for a yellow. Now we're going to focus on Mark Zabak. Can he pull out a miracle? Conklin, so. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he did. Oh, well, he can make it. Yeah, and Brian's nine seconds back, so Mark has turned up the wick this whole entire run. Holy crap balls. This is wild. Let's see if he can make it. He's only on lap 35 with this run. He's got... Yeah, the, he'll, he'll have plenty of fuel. He'll have enough for the burnout if he wins it. Yeah, there's five laps to go right now. Coming to the line will be four to go. Oh, this is 
crazy. Tyler and Kyle and Jeremy are just back there going, wow, we done screwed up. But that's racing. I mean, what are you going to do? You, you, you might think there's a yellow. You might not. Yeah. You might. Without that caution flag, uh, those guys that broke this into two stops, uh, they're, they're kind of out of luck now. Yeah. Wow. That's wild. That's unfortunate. Hate it for them guys. But the guys up front, hey, hey, they're happier than pig a poo. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> hey, Ryan Sherrill, P2. He is catching Mark. Oh, boy. Three laps to go. Oh, this is going to get good. It is four tenths of a second at the line. Let's let's focus on the 20 truck. See if we can catch them. There we go. Some people want to see a yellow, and some don't. Gonna have a. Uh, looks like the Mark Zabak has turned up a turned up the wick a little bit. You seen that 20 truck coming? He's like, you ain't taking. Hey, Satan. Yeah, he, he's like, you ain't taking. This from me, you have to work a little harder. He's not trying to break the draft or anything, and looks like the lap trucks kind of kind of have to ruin the thunder of Ryan Shiro's charge here. He has every right to do it because he wants to get back on that lead lap in case a late yellow does come out. He's a competitor just like anybody else on the racetrack. He's got every right to be there. And that may slow the leader down here. Coming to three and four. This Mark can't run the line that he wants. All good here so far. Come, coming to the white flag here at California Speedway. Fast track truck series. I'm going to call it, we're going to call it the Capital One white flag lap or whatever the hell they call it on TV. <laughs> Brian Conklin up to third. I like it. Tyler Marble up to fourth. BC in third and we got a Late battle for the lead. Can Ryan Shero do a kamikaze run in the turn three and four? Probably not. It won't stick. What an effort, though. Mark Zabak all the way from P13 up to the lead. One stop strategy under green. Mark Zabak, your California Auto Club champion. Here in the fast track sim series, fast track yeah, truck series. Wow, what a interesting race! Comers and goers, pit strategies all over the place. And, oh my God, Baron, he just ran out of gas. <laughs> yes, he just come over the voice comms and says he ran out of gas. I'm out. How about that? Oh my God! <laughs> so much for wow. burnout. <laughs> That's awesome. Go ahead, Mark. That's Great race, guys. Yeah, he's trying to get her going. Somebody gonna have to Yeah, push somebody it. give that guy a push. I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> I'm tired about that is wild. Hey, he's got some boobies on the back of that truck. I believe he does. Uh, uh, yeah, hey, we'll save the cups back there. Save the Tatas, man. Get that breast yeah. cancer awareness truck or something. Anyways, this is a family show. That was awesome. Strategies everywhere. I screwed myself. I'm listening to Tyler. Hang on. It is what it is. Uh, 42 trucks. That's awesome. Vegas next week. Let's continue the great show. Wow. Baron, I'm gonna do a quick. Job, I'm gonna do a quick commercial break. We're gonna pull people up into uh, the channel here, Ryan and uh, we'll be right back. Enjoy this commercial, everybody. Yeah, well done, Mark. Back to the pits we go, Ryan.
All right, we are back. Mark Sabak with the win here at Auto Club Speedway. The Fast Track Sim Racing Truck Series presented by iRacingiFlag.com. Use Fast Track 15. It's all one word. Squish it all together. The number one and five at the end. At iRacingFlag.com to save 18% of your off of your order. They are having supply issues at their website, just like the rest of the world is with the supply chain. So be patient. They're going to restock their stuff soon. And then once they uh, have their stuff back in stock, go ahead and order yourself some iFlags. It makes the immersion really, really good. You can stick it up on your monitor. You can stick it wherever, and you'll see them bright colors come across them, LED lights whenever a caution comes out, white flag, checker flag, all that good stuff. All right. Let's do some interviews here. First, we're going to pull up P3 of Brian Conklin. Brian Conklin finishes third here at Auto Club Speedway. Started, uh, where'd you start there, Brian? P17, interesting pit strategy. I believe you did one pit stop. Is that correct, Brian? One pit stop, yep. So was, was that your strategy all along? Just kind of, you know, saving fuel and, and just... Purposely stretching it out. Yeah, when the when the first couple of cautions came out, I kept on saving and clutching, saving and and I uh, should have pitted one extra lap. Extra, well, I should have stayed out one extra lap, but I didn't. So I was short. I clutched it for about twenty laps there. Oh, you you clutched it twenty laps prior to the pit stop. No, after the pit stop. No, after the pit stop. All right, wow, that's crazy. Well, we um we didn't. Did you have any problems with your temperatures, uh, engine temperatures? Uh, not that I know of. I didn't see anything going to red. Yeah, because we, we were hearing a lot of people were having troubles with temperatures, and they were just kind of taking it easy, saving their engine heat, saving their tires. Some were worried about blowing up. So that kind of helps some people, I guess, with their fuel. But uh, uh, you would also lose time on, on the, old, on the uh, stopwatch. But Well, congratulations. That was a hell of a run. P3, uh, the floor is yours, man. Uh, whoever you want to thank, you want to uh, do do whatever you want. I'll give you the floor. Here you go. All right. Well, I mean, I just appreciate you uh, actually hanging up your helmet for this year and doing the broadcast. That's pretty cool. Um, I've got to thank my teammates, uh, Cody, Tyler, Tico. Um I think that's about it, really. I'm glad to bring home this Monster Energy Chevrolet in third place tonight. Well, hell, hell of a run there, Mr. Conklin. And uh, I believe you had a P8 at Daytona last week in the Cup Series. That sound about right? Um, not sure. I think I was like 11th, maybe. And where were you at Daytona? Do you remember for Truck Series? Oh, yeah, Truck Series. Um, That was 11th, I do believe. Well, you're having a pretty pretty solid start to the season. You're, uh, I'm pretty sure you're way up there in points. So, congrats on a pretty good start of the season, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys next week at Vegas. And I probably also thanks, Baron, for coming out tonight. Hey, my pleasure, man. It was good to see you run third. I mean, uh, hell, you had some speed in the old boy too. Yeah, I try. So is the track still slick and greasy? It gets a little slick out there. It got tight towards what the fuel start burning off though. That's always fun though, isn't it? Like on this track, not a lot of room out there to hustle around. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm still trying to figure out how to tire management. So uh, two uh, marble cars in the top five. That's pretty good for uh, California. And uh, hell of a finish there, Brian. Uh, next week, uh, where are you off to? I think we're off to Vegas, aren't we? No. Gambling, man. Good. Got anything for him in Vegas? We'll see what we can do. Yeah. Good stuff. Jeff, to BC in third place, man. It's podium finish right there. Hell yeah. BC will take that all the time, anytime. All right, BC, uh, congrats again, and uh, we're going to get uh, P2 in here real quick. Thank you. We'll see you later. All right. Thank you, guys. All right, we pulled Ryan Shero here into the uh, TV booth, driver of the number 20 truck all-star racing giveaway. Ryan, 
You almost had him there at the end. Tell us how you were trying to chase him down. Tell us all about it. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt. Hindsight's 2020, but I didn't really want to press too hard because I was so close on fuel. And he came in a lap earlier than me, and there was no way I would have made it if I would have came in. So I just wanted to hang out behind him, get a little draft, save a little fuel. And I thought for sure he was running out. But if I could go back in time, I think I would have put a little pressure on him, tried to get around him, um, and maybe chase me a little bit, because um, I think I still would have been good on gas. But frustrating um, sounds kind of crazy, finishing P2 and being frustrated. But, I mean, that's racing. You, you do it to finish first. All right. If you could, just uh, make sure that microphone stay close to your mouth you were loud for most of it but you started to tail off at the end i want to get your beautiful voice on the broadcast here for all your friends and family um all right so tell me about after the pit stop were you have a new clutch and save a lot of fuel there uh, at the end to make it to the end no i didn't clutch at all um I, like i said i came in a lap after everybody else so i just kind of eased up on my entrance a little bit, came out of the throttle a little sooner than I would have. And then when I caught Mark, I just kind of got as close as I could, get a little draft off him and, and took it easy um, until I felt pretty good that I was going to make it to the end, which was uh, lap 79 and a half. All right, well, cool. Well, guys, uh, all right, Baron, do you have anything for Mr. Cheryl? Hey, Ryan, uh, it's Baron here. Uh, good looking truck out there, that 20 car or that 20 truck. Uh, tell us about your sponsor. What do they do? Yeah, I'll start a give, racing giveaway. Uh, it's a really cool site on Facebook. Um, they do a lot of auctions and raffles for, for die cast, kind of pick a spot. They roll um, either they do duck races with numbers on them or just kind of random number generators. Um, really cool merchandise on there. Some, some really rare cars um, and the spots are really affordable, uh, especially once COVID kicked off, uh, you know, hobbies, whether it was die cast or sports cards, people really took advantage of it and they try to get, you know, as much profit. These guys are doing it. Um, they're, they're a hobbyist themselves, so they're not trying to get rich off of it. It's just a really great way for hobbyists of die cast to come together. Um, um, and spread spread the love and, and hopefully win some diecasts at a relatively cheap price. That's an awesome, awesome uh, uh, company you got there. Uh, Ryan, how do, how do people find you if they're not watching the uh, Fast Track uh, truck series? Yeah, you can find me on mostly on Twitter at, at rshero34. Um, that's really the only thing I have kind of open to the public. Um, if you like terrible sports takes and somebody <laughs> trying to be funny, that that's most of the time not. Uh, I'm your man. Come check it out. Hey, good humor, bad humor. It's all humor. Great race tonight. Second place finish. You can't be sorry about that. Vegas next week. Uh, you got anything for him? No, man, um, just, uh, just like I said last week, Tyler and, and Jeff have done an awesome job. I've bounced around a couple of different leagues, and I'm happy to call this one home. Um, you saw it there at the last, you know, 50 laps or so. That's what this series is all about. Good hard racing, um, not a lot of yellows, making you use your mind uh, as well as your hands out there on the track. Congratulations on your second place. We'll see you next week, buddy. Thank you, guys. Take it easy. All right. Thank you for uh, thank you for the kind words. I appreciate it, and we're we're damn glad to have you and your father here at Fast Track Sim Racing in the uh, Truck and Cup Series. All right, the, real quickly, the floor is yours. You can do with do whatever you want with it. Go ahead. Okay, it's past my bedtime, boys. I'm out of here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, man. So P two P two tonight. You were on the pole last week at Daytona, so you're you got you're starting off on fire, Mr. Mr. Shero. So we'll see you next week at Las Vegas. Thank you, thank you. Everyone have a good night. Yes, sir, you too. All right, all right. We have the winner. Of the California Dream in 160, Mark Zabak, the one-stop strategy guy. Tell us about it, Mark. Well, I'll be honest, Jeff. Uh, I was just having a good time racing in the pack there, and I wasn't thinking much about fuel. Uh, thought I'd run it to the end on that first stint, and came in pitted, 
got about a third of the way through that run and thought, hey man, I got a damn good chance of making it. So I, I pedaled it off and uh, painted that bottom line through the corners, getting as low as RPM as I could with uh, the little distance around the track. And uh, I can't believe I actually made it. Uh, I got to the point where it was I was bang on crossing the line with the amount of laps left and the amount my crew chief said I had for fuel. And damn, he was right. I crossed that line, came into one and sputtered. So just made her. <laughs> wow, that is wild. Hey, um, right after those early yellows, did you did you come in and top it off during those early yellows? No, I did not, sir. That's why I I really can't believe I made it. I I when I pitted on the first stint though, I still had another lap and a half of fuel, so I was getting good mileage right off the hop. I was I was pedaling off pretty easy going into the corner and, and biding my time. And to be honest, uh, I don't have a lot of experience in California, so. Um, I wasn't running hard at all. I wasn't even quick in practice. I couldn't even really get up to speed. So I said, well, I just got to race the track and and uh, see what see what comes out of it. Well, I, I ain't going to lie. That's pretty damn impressive that you did not come in and top it off and you and you were able to make it to the end. That's kudos to you. Uh, you learned from Mark Martin. He was one of the best at saving fuel back in the day. Um, we're going to tear your truck apart. We're going to look for extra fuel line in there and see if you can store some extra fuel in there. Yeah. We're going to we're going to perform the Chinese fire drill on you like uh, Mr. Big Bill France would used to do to these guys. Oh, I'm just playing with you. Hell of a job, man. Great. Wow. That's we were like shocked in the booth. And then when you came over the radio, radio, uh, the voice channel that you ran out of fuel, I was like, oh, my God. So that was Baron. Got any questions for Mark? Well, I, I can tell where he figured out that strategy. It's just Cabo Wabo on the front of his truck there, and uh, that makes you a tequila man, doesn't it, Mark? Oh, I enjoy it, but uh, my wife doesn't like me enjoying it. <laughs> well, um, whatever it was that caused you to split that race in half, uh, it couldn't be just pure brain power, couldn't it? You had to have something to help you out. Well, Jeff said he was going to check my fuel line, make sure it wasn't uh, extra diameter or longer than normal. Just don't check my roll bars. <laughs> right, right. Back in the day, boy, he's 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 got some age on him now. He remembers the old days when we were filling up the roll bars with fuel. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey Mark, uh, so you're running full time uh, with this series now. What have you learned in the first two races? Well, I tell you, what I learned uh, was when I did the basically those uh, tryout or the the recruitment races. Uh, um, Man, it was some good racing there, and I'm not—I wasn't even too sure about uh, you know the guys that were actually in those races, how many were in the league or not. I just had a really good time with it, and it's—it's uh, it's been it hasn't been a letdown at all since I joined. Uh, the first two races have been good. My Daytona experience wasn't great. I'll be honest, I, I hate plate racing. I hate—I hate, I hate uh, super speedways. I'm not much of a super speedway racer. I've never had really good luck. I've won a lot of races there, yes, but uh, my bad luck definitely outweighs my good luck. So I was glad that was done. And uh, like I say, California don't have a ton of experience here either, to be honest. But uh, I, I like tracks where you got to drive the car, and uh, I'm looking forward to a great year with this with this field. The talent, uh, there's a lot of great talent and full fields. Can't have but a good time. Where do you call home, Mark? I live in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. Oh my goodness, another north of the border, dude. All right. I'm, so I'm on an island in the Pacific Ocean, brother. That's great. Wow. That is great. <laughs> I would love to see where you live. You got to send pictures. Oh, I will. And in That's fact, uh, I'll let you know, I've, I've been involved with uh, League for a long time. Like me and me and a bunch of guys, we've been racing well over 
it, into the 90s we started out i think 99 nascar 1999 was when we started together and uh, a bunch of the guys in here are from that league there's only a couple that are long term like me from it but a lot of them were there for a long time and we've been racing for a lot of years and had a lot of good times together um so i'm looking to uh, join up with a bunch of more good guys and having a blast i think you found a nice home here mark great job tonight thanks man it was fun all right. Well, I'd like to uh, I'd like to thank all of I'd like to thank you and all of your your guys that you brought over to our league. Uh, that means a lot. Uh, we were impressed with you and your guys throughout the winter, and we're, we're damn glad to have you here. And uh, the floor is yours to to thank whoever you would like to. Well, first off, I'd like to thank all the boys. Uh, I sort of talked them into it to come in in here. Uh, you know, we were, weren't having a great turnout with our league. And uh, I'd like to thank them all for joining me because otherwise, if they didn't, I'd have been pretty dedicated and probably stuck with them and not as had a great, a, a good a time as I'm already having here. So, um, but I got to definitely thank my wife because she lets me do this and have a blast. So, uh, very, very good of her. Uh, she, basically it gives me a long leash <laughs> but uh thanks to you guys for letting me in for sure and uh looking forward to a lot of fun all right well congratulations again that was that was so fun to watch uh, i thought for sure ryan was going to come up there and give you a little bit of hell but uh man you pulled it out ran out of fuel there at the end hell of a job man and let's see if you can roll that dice next week at vegas man that'd be pretty fun to watch well, I do have a little bit more experience in Vegas. It's uh, I, I like the track. It just it, it's never really liked me. So we'll see how that one goes. Maybe uh, maybe I'll get some good luck for a change and and see you here again. All right, we're we're looking forward to it. And uh, again, congratulations, and we'll see you next week, sir. Yeah, thanks, guys. A lot of fun. All right, Baron. Wow, that was uh, man. After some early shenanigans, they really cleaned up their act, got their heads on straight, and uh, what a hell of a show there with comers and goers, different pitch strategies, uh, guys running out of fuel. We had the whole gamut tonight. Sure did, and uh, and uh, I love uh, what Mark said. Look, I'm I'm broadcasting here from an island in British Columbia, so the Canadians a uh, very happy country right now with uh, Mark's win here at the uh, Auto Club in California. Uh, Jeff, I love your league. You know, I've, I've been a big supporter of this league for a very long time, and um, you know, the racing week in and week out is always always solid. I'm glad you're finally getting broadcasted and getting the the name and recognition you deserve out here with these talented drivers. It's it was a great race tonight. Uh, Baron, I, I appreciate it, man, and I I I enjoy your friendship. And uh, I was pleasantly surprised when you popped in tonight, and I was like, oh god, I won't make a butthole out of myself. At least I'll have a little bit of help of making myself look like a fool. So. Well, I'm a little under the weather too, so I'm not I'm not giving you my A game. But I thought, man, I saw the broadcast pop. I was like, man, let me get in there. So let's let's do that. So fun. It was a good time. Um, I love watching the trucks. Love watching the cars. So you guys you guys do a great thing out here. Keep doing what you're doing, man, because this is awesome. All right. Well, thank you for the kind words, Baron. Uh, it means a lot. And uh, next week we're at beautiful Las Vegas. We're gonna see who craps out. We're gonna see who gets a blackjack. We're going to see who rolls the dice and get some snake eyes. So, Oh, it's cliche Wednesday, baby. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Next week, uh, around, I got to get a better launch time. Probably 8.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll start the stream, give myself a little extra time to get myself squared away. We'll be live on Team Marvel iRacing on Facebook and also at Fast Track Sim Racing on Facebook. Both of those pages have the stream uh, simultaneously. Also, once this is all done and we wrap it all up, I upload all of our streams to YouTube. That is also at Fast Track Sim Racing on YouTube. Uh, I should probably get the link on the Facebook page. That'd probably be a good idea, you know. It'll help. Yeah, it'll help a little bit, help people find it. So I'll do that. We'll get it up to YouTube so people can rewatch it. We didn't get 
banned this week from the Facebook police for copyright issues. So that's a plus. Um, I'll try to work on getting different camera angles throughout the race. I was kind of stuck on TV one, two, or three. Um, I'll do better at the camera angles. I'm, I'm new at this. We'll, we'll, we'll provide a quality broadcast for the truck guys. These guys deserve it. They put on a lot of great racing. Daytona was fun last week. California was great this week. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to uh, doing more races with you throughout the season when your schedule permits it. And uh, I'm going to give yeah, it. Count me, count me in when I'm when I'm available for sure. I'm in the great city of Boston, Massachusetts next week this time. So. Well, I don't know how great Boston is, but, you know, being a Buffalo Sabres fan and a Bills fan. Title Town, USA. Uh, oh, boy. Here we go. That's <laughs> Patriots fan. Oh, my goodness gracious. I, I can't even stand being in the same room with you right now. We actually have a baseball team, Jeff. I, I have minor league baseball. <laughs> That's great. Um. All right, so we're going to talk about the Cup Series real quick before I sign off. Our Cup Series is broadcasted on the Ghost Racing Network on YouTube. Austin Green is the commentator over there. He is the real deal, too. I love that broadcast. That Those guys are legit. And they are they are growing fast. Their subscriber numbers have, like, skyrocketed. Yeah, so and worth it too. If, um, this is uh, he is quality stuff right there. Uh, you scored big time with them. I I, I did. I, I, I the first thing I was looking for was a guy with a great voice, no dead air, loves knows what he's talking about, and behind the scenes he's constantly getting with me, asking me questions. Hey, what should I do with this? How do we make this better? Uh, what can I do here? What do you want? Graphics, yada, yada, yada. So he's always looking to make it better. I appreciate him. He's he's awesome. I love him. Austin Green, everybody. Ghost Racing Network on YouTube. They are, they're streaming all the time over there. Get to YouTube right now. Click their subscribe button. Click the notifications so whenever you go li uh, they go live, you'll be able to watch their broadcasts. They do a lot of money races. Um, so you'll see like Coke series drivers and, and a lot of the good streamers will be on there trying to win some cash. And he's, he does the streaming for a lot of those. Um, he's doing our full season, doing our all-star race. Um, we got some good news coming up for Atlanta. I'm not going to spoil that quite yet, but stay tuned for some Atlanta news. Um, I'm working on something for the all-star race too. We are, up and coming, we're going to start kicking some serious ass here at Fast Track Sim Racing. Uh, everybody's going to know about us here pretty soon. So, All right, having said that, thank you, Baron. Uh, congratulations again to uh, Mark Sabak with the win tonight here at California Speedway. And thank you, Baron. I appreciate you. No, thank you. It was fun. All right, for Baron Labasco, Jeff Marble, we are signing out. and. Uh, we shall see you next week at beautiful, beautiful Las Vegas. Thank you.
inside. Reynolds is trying everything. The kitchen sink is being thrown at it. They're leaning on each other. Coming in at turn number three. It's going to be a drag race through three and four. Coming back to the line. Here comes first on the bottom. Richard's going to hold the inside. Tries to be the late breaker here. They're going to be side by side through the fire chicane. They bang doors but keep it clean. Has that still four wide on the run down at the back straightaway. Demerit's looking for a line as well. What is going on in Michigan? No back into the fence. They're still beating and banging. Oh and to the line. He is much faster coming through there. Is there damage on Challenger? Apparatus is ahead. Oh Let's let me erase the line. Who is going to oh. get it? Thank <laughs> you.